G'day, welcome to Sci-Fi Sundays. My name is Jacob, and today I want to talk about monsters. <laughs> it's funny to think that aliens may have appeared in film before monsters did. A Trip to the Moon, or La Voyage dans la Lune, is a 1902 French sci-fi film directed by Georges Mieles. In this film, a bunch of astronauts end up on the moon, and they find life there. Thus, A Trip to the Moon showcased the first alien on screen. The first monster on screen would come about by either the 1915 German film The Gollum, or Nosferatu in 1922, or Die Nubelungen in 1924. It was only a matter of time before both aliens and monsters cross paths and we thus end up with space monsters. So with all the giant monsters and aliens on screen and fucking sharks jumping out and killing people all the time, it's quite a common thread these days in cinema. It got me thinking, what is the scariest monster in science fiction? I wanted to make a list different from that where at the top the obvious reign. You know, King Kong, Godzilla, Jaws, Frankenstein and so on. Side note, we all have that friend who feels compelled to correct you when you refer to Frankenstein's monster as Frankenstein. Um, actually Frankenstein is the name of the doctor and you should refer to his creation as the monster. I flippin' hate that guy for two reasons. One, he or she is kinda right and he or she is quite very wrong. The monster was never given a name, true, and Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein, is the doctor's name, but also apparently the term monster was never used in the book either. Some people say he calls himself Adam due to this line. I am thy creature, I ought to be thy atom, but rather I am the fallen angel from whom thou drivest from joy, for no misdeed. But obviously he is referring to the biblical Adam, himself, created by God, Victor Frankenstein. It was a metaphor, he said he ought to have been called this. So, shut up, nerds! I want to talk about the scariest, most horrifying monsters that I can remember from science fiction. Not just the classics we see all the time. So this will be a short list of the truly hideous beasts that scared me as a child, the vile villains that sickened me as an adult, and the horrors that still haunt my very dreams to this day. So let's get started. The Blob. Now this might be the only classic monster on my list. When I was a kid, my mum wanted to introduce me to the old films, you know, the classics, as she was a fan. But old movies are boring, mama, I would declare. Oh, nonsense. Go and have a look and I'm sure you will find something of interest, she said, pointing to the classics section in the video store. Remember video stores? Those were the days. Anyway, I came back with an old Steve McQueen classic. Oh, the Blob. My mum didn't pay much attention to the film as she was just happy I picked a classic. Little did she nor I know how terrifying that movie was, especially to a little kid. It scared the shit out of me. Needless to say, my mum was a little more attentive next time we visited the store. So I have to put the blob on my list, as it's quite nostalgic for me. But also, it's a pretty scary monster. Just this gelatinous thing that engulfs you and grows and grows and grows and just, it's unstoppable. It's unkillable even. Another nostalgic monster alien thing, I suppose, that pops up on a lot of lists is the thing. It's just Gross. Pennywise from Stephen King's It made a lot of lists, but honestly, I can't say the clown was as scary as the moving photos in the original. Clowns have never really scared me. They're more annoying than anything. When I see a clown, it just pisses me off. But those old creepy black and white photos, shit. You know the ones you get in grandma's house? Like who else here is terrified of those? That was more scary in It than Pennywise himself, at least that's what I thought. But speaking of Stephen King, the Ripley, or Byrus as it's known in the novel from Stephen King's Dreamcatcher, was a freaky alien that legit gave me the heebie-jeebies, man. I must admit, I quite enjoyed the film, despite it getting mostly negative reviews, but mm, it has been 10 years since I've seen it, so who knows. Regardless, a brain-manipulating, mind-altering alien that's true form is a gross giant slug thing filled with razor-sharp teeth that sometimes tries to bite your dick off. Yeah, now nah, fuck that. It's definitely going on my list. Super visceral and super scary. 
The Harvesters is the name of the aliens in Independence Day. Now personally I didn't find these guys that scary as Independence Day is almost a fucking comedy, but when I was talking to a friend the other day, shout out to Fadzi, he said I had to put them on the list because of this one particular scene. Brent Spiner was getting some serious autoerotica going on, eyes popped open and all possessed and shit, and yeah, I guess as a kid that was pretty creepy. It doesn't make my personal list, but I can see how it was pretty freaky for the time. Also it was for sure a unique alien design. Design. At least that's what I thought. Also, Fadzi, if you're watching, I did watch the Mothman episode of the X-Files after you recommended it the other day. Yeah, it was pretty creepy and I can see how as a kid it would have freaked you out. The X-Files scared the shit out of me as a child too. So many monsters in that show. You could do a whole video on the X-Files monsters alone. But as an adult, it's hard to be scared by things on TV anymore. I guess it's all about nostalgia. You know what? This whole episode is about nostalgia. So let's get nostalgic as fuck. How do you all feel about zombies? For me, I've never really been creeped out by zombies per se, except for the runners in 28 Days Later. Fast running, rage infected brutes, the way they twitch, the way their cold, dead, red eyes glare right into your very core with the sole purpose of smashing you into oblivion. Scariest zombies around, in my opinion. Check out my zombie video if you haven't already for more info on those creepy bastards. But speaking of zombies, Resident Evil had some horrific mutations. The liquor springs to mind, but of course, there are so many, many more. I could be here all day talking about video game monsters, so I'll only mention another one, because I imagine fans of the genre would be a bit miffed if I didn't mention the Necromorphs from Dead Space. But I have to be honest, I don't really like horror games, as they're a bit scary for me. To be honest, I haven't actually played the Dead Space games, but I had to mention them anyway because I watched a lot of videos, and they did remind me of one particularly horrifying creature. The fly. After a freak teleporting incident, old mate Jeff gets his DNA mixed in with that of a common fly. He then starts to turn into the hideous, murderous human fly hybrid, and it's fucking disgusting. When I saw this as a kid, it scared the shit out of me, as I find the scariest things in cinema to be human mutation, zombification, freak transformations. Things that are familiar, yet grotesque. The uncanny valley. To see something you know, perhaps even love, turn into something you abhor is truly the stuff of nightmares. The head crab from Half-Life and Half-Life 2 is a good example of this. What's not to fear? Brain-sucking crab-like aliens that turn its host into semi-conscious zombies. Yuck. But it's the screams of its victims that are truly chilling. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Oh, nah, that's just, that's not, that's not good. But speaking of head-sucking parasites, the number one scariest monster or alien in my opinion is Alien. The Xenomorph from the Alien franchise and its horrific lifestyle is number one on my list of scariest science fiction monsters. From the pussy anus egg comes the slimy spider-like face hugger, which basically strangles its host while face fucking it, plants an egg deep inside then drops off and presumably dies. After a short while, the dreaded Xenomorph will burst forth from its host's gut, causing a horrific, visceral and excruciating death of the host. After running about for a bit, growing at a tremendous speed, becoming a large, strong, slimy, razor-ridden beast, it will seek to destroy all those within its vicinity. With acid for blood, a razor-sharp axe-like tail, four limbs with long, vicious talons, and one of the deadliest mouths imaginable, the Xenomorph is by far the scariest monster on screen. Its creation is absolutely the stuff of nightmares, and as a child, I shat bricks. The Xenomorph from the Alien franchise is, to me at least, the scariest, most vile and horrific monster in science fiction. There are so many monsters and aliens in so many different mediums that I have skipped over, I understand that, but this video is probably going to be long enough. Modern examples could be the Demigorgon from Stranger Things, the Demon from It Follows, and the Cloverfield aliens, and so on and on and on. This list is of course extremely biased, this is just the things that I found nostalgic or the things that affected me in some way growing up with science fiction. But what do you think is the scariest monster in sci-fi? Leave a comment below and let's get a friendly discussion going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you- Whoa fuck I did not see that! Oh,